What if I told you that dinosaurs never really went extinct? Not all of them, anyway. You've probably heard of the Velociraptor? Yeah, that fast, smart predator from the movies. It belonged to a group called Theropods. And here's the twist. That's the same group modern birds came from. We used to think all dinosaurs vanished in that asteroid blast. But fossil records show something wild. Some of them had feathers. They weren't just scaly beasts. They were adapting. Some started to glide. Maybe to escape predators or leap down cliffs. And over time, they got better at it. Their arms changed shape. Feathers grew longer. Eventually, those arms became wings. And if you compare a bird wing to a dinosaur's arm, bone by bone, it's almost the same. Just evolve, transform. So birds aren't distant relatives of dinosaurs. They are dinosaurs. Living, breathing, flying ones. And some birds today really make you feel it. Take the great hornbill. Big, colorful, with a beak so massive it looks almost unreal. It doesn't walk much. It hops, leaps around like it's still figuring out how to move. And when it flies, you feel the weight. It makes you wonder, is this how those ancient feathered theropods move? Jumping from branch to branch? Half gliding? Half hunting? Birds like the hornbill are a living reminder. Dinosaurs did didn't disappear, they just changed.